Hey, good to be back with you all in the day of the life of yours truly, Jesse T here in downtown Los Angeles. Hey, we've got the real estate show coming up here on the Jesse T Show in about uh, 45 minutes or so, live at 5 right here on KTN-TV radio and broadcasting podcasting on the Power of Voices global radio and TV network. We're going to be broadcasting right here on Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero, also Instagram live at uh, Jesse Terrero, and uh, we'll be banging out on the YouTube channel, Jesse Terrero, a little bit later on, right after the show is over with, because I can't do four things at once. When I'm remote, sometimes I can only do one thing at once, so I'm pretty good at doing two things at once, and sometimes I can do three and four things at once. Boy, that's a spectacle to watch, man. It's like the Twister game all over. You do about Pretzel Terrero, man. Jesse T's in the pretzel makeup zone then. Oh, yeah. Hey, good to be here, though. I'm in downtown L.A. Today's real estate show, we're going to talk about property tax because I, yours truly, yes, me, I'm facing a, a major challenge right now about paying some property tax on a couple of pieces of property that I own that I failed to pay for five years. So I'm going through something right now. I'm going to share it with you. I got halfway through my mark, though. I was down here. I paid off half the property tax on one of the properties. And then last week, I paid off all the property tax. Uh, for five years on another property. So now, uh, you know, I'm scrapping around. I got about twenty-one thirty-nine in dollars to come up with, and I'm almost there. So I'll be coming back down here in a couple of days to pay more property tax. So I'm going to tell you how that's going. A lot of people always ask me about property tax when uh, they're buying property and or I'm selling property. Well, you know, hey, look it. You know, I made some choices over the last four or five years. Now I got to face the gauntlet, man, and I got to come up because there's no way in God's creation in the heavens and the earth that I'm going to allow these properties to slip slide into somebody else's hand for property tax. So, you know, I'm doing everything I can to make it happen and I will make it happen because, hey, it's me, Jesse T. But on the way, uh, we're going to share that uh, with you. But I thought this was really cool right here, this map. I say, can you see this map, guys? Because, you know, I'm always into road tripping with Dan the man and we got a big show coming up on that. But you see this map? Is this really cool? It's El Paseo de los Probladores de los Angeles. Hey, pretty good, my Spanish isn't too bad, huh? Yeah, well, hey, I've got to have a little Spanish in me because I do have a Latin surname, but let me read to you what this is. I can't see it without my glasses. I love stopping at these places here. This is a really cool map. It starts way down in the Gulf of, of uh, California, Baja, California, way, way, way down here. We're almost where the, you see where my finger is right here? This is, this is uh, the Mexican Riviera, Cabo San Lucas and Mazatlan and all that stuff and Puerto Vallarta and all that stuff is down there, right? Way, way down there. Up there in, in the Baja, uh, uh, the, uh, the Gulf of California, up there is real cool too. I've got a funny story of what happened to me up there, but that's for another thing. Anyhow, let me read you this. The route of the settlers of the city of Los Angeles on February 2nd, 1781, man, going back a long time, a company of settlers recruited in the states of Sonora and Sonola, Mexico, because you see, this was all part of Mexico in 1781. Actually, it was uh, one uh, by Mexico. Uh, Spain actually conquered it originally, and uh, when they got their independence from Spain, then uh, Mexico had it, of course. They inherited everything, and then uh, America crossed, uh, crossed the nation, manifest destiny from sea to signing she. We got it then, okay, in 1843 to 1847. Anyhow, uh, 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 recruited in the states of Sonora and Sonola, Mexico, began a historic journey from Los, a Los Alamos, Sonora. These were Los Probabladores, whose mission was the founding of El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Riena de Los Angeles de Port Senucula, I believe, as planned by the Governor Felipe de Naive. Uh, they marched down the Rio Mayo to, uh, that's called the Rio May Mayonnaise, right? The Rio Mayo, no, okay. The big mayonnaise, no. The Rio Mayo's a river to Santa Barbara Bay, crossed the Gulf of California to Loretto, Lower California, sailed northward in the Gulf to San Luis Gonzaga Bay, then went inland to the mission San Fernando de Vallecata in May. They started the long overland journey northward, which ended August 18th, 1781. So it took them all that whole year of 1781 to traverse uh, from Baja California up to the 11 families that were part of the expedition and 44 men, women, and children and all moved to the site of the real Port Senucula, which is now the city of uh, Los Angeles. 
So that's where they got here. That's how City LA started way back in 1781. So guys, you see, you can see my finger right here. Finger, 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 finger. All right, they started down here. Now this was all part, California, you know, was all part of Mexico, you know, originally Spain. But they, they came in here like this. Um, they came over here from the Rio Mayo, right there, you see the Rio Mayo. They crossed the Gulf, okay, and then they, they bammed into Loreto, and then they took a little sailing ship right up here uh, to San Fernando. Now, San Fernando was not down in the city of San Fernando where we call it today. It's, it's up here in, in the Baja California, and then up to San Diego, and then to San Gabriel, to the Rio La Porcenucula which is now known as the Pueblo de Los Angeles. Hey, cool stuff, you know. What can I tell you? I'm always road tripping, got my eyes on the swivel, my head looking left and right. Now I gotta get back to uh, getting my car so I don't get a ticket. I only had like 13 minutes uh, to, to get that taken care of. I gotta get back to find a, a spot here so we can hook up together and talk about property tax. Oh, how fun it is. All in the life of Jesse T. Right here, it's you and me, live at five, on the Jesse T Show as we Conquer the tax assessor. Show you how you can get in trouble. And, uh, oh wow, look at this, man. I'm always looking for stairs to climb. You know, gotta stay fit. So I'm gonna show you how we can uh, handle that information and get going there. All right, ready, go. Yeah, this is cool. You know, I'm always running stairs all the time. Got to, man, gotta stay in shape. Yeah, I'm gonna be training after the show kind of let my training go for a little bit because yeah look at that not even winded <laughs> see getting in shape man that's all about okay we'll talk to you later i gotta cut through the taper here the dwp building and then uh we have uh dorothy chandler pavilion right here mark taper there we go dorothy chandler pavilion right in through here that big building over there, that's a Department of Water and Power building. And I'm parked over there. I got a secret place for parking. Don't have to pay 20 bucks. Hey, hey. see you in a bit, bye.